All right, hello everybody. It is the seventh, seven o five. Hope and pray everybody out there, you guys, you're doing well, staying strong in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, not being led astray with all these different doctrines. You know, I I listened to the beginning of this person's message. Now he's going around mocking me, but that's fine. I don't care because as long as I stay in the Word of God. Versus what he's doing. Yeah, but anyhow, he's showing where he, he comes right out and says with his breaking down the gospel. And he's saying, this is the gospel made easy. It's not the gospel, what he's doing. See, gospel also means teaching. Okay, that's his teaching, what he calls made easy. You guys, stay to the written word of God. The deceptions are high right now. And uh, many people are being led astray. They're not getting into the word, understanding the, the times and what's about to happen, watching uh, this other stuff. You guys, the Spirit of God, if it's abiding in you, you know all you need to know. If you're staying in the word of God, because Christ said, if you don't abide in me, if my word doesn't abide in you, his word, not these other doctrines, Christ clearly said it in the book of John. He said, if my word does not abide in you, uh, you're like a dried branch that men gather and they throw in the fire. You guys, if you're reading your scriptures, it's going to tell you over and over. It's, it's about the uh, gospel of Christ. It's not about all this other stuff. None of it. I mean, none of it. Okay. Now, um, Adam Clark and F.B. Myers, these are like long-time people that are gone from, you know, 100 years back or whatever, where they made some comments. They didn't understand everything because you'd have to be in these times to understand it all. But they also made comments, which I'm going to include some of them here, okay, on some of these, like Revelation 17:17. 17, 17. Okay. Let's get with it, you guys. I might have to break this down in two videos. Because anything over 25 minutes. Here we go. Acts 14, 19. But Peter and John, they answered and they said unto them, these are the Pharisees, okay? Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. Okay? Genesis uh, three seventeen. And unto Adam, he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto thy voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of that tree, of which I commanded you, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, and so shall you eat of it all the days of your life. You guys, what I'm telling you, what I'm reading you in Scripture, it's about obeying God, His Word. All this other stuff, you guys, look at, we're in the end times, man. If they're if it if you're not studying the word of God, the, you're not studying it. If you're watching all this other nonsense, that's what it is. Nonsense. Alright. Um first Samuel fifteen twenty four. And Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord. And thy words, because I feared the people and I, and obeyed their voice. Remember, the world will love their own, you guys. And, and if they're flocking to it, <coughs> it's their destiny. One thing's certain. I, I, I spoke up against it. That's what matters. Whatever everybody else does, it's going to be their destiny. Okay, Mark 7-7. Seven, seven. How about in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men? In vain they worship me, because they're listening to doctrines of men. This is the gospel made simple, made easy. That's what that guy says in his videos. This is the gospel made easy. Well, he's giving you numbers, showing you that goat's head. Woo! You know, or that girl sitting in the center of that circle with all the dummies behind her. 
That's what those are, dummies, faceless dummies in that circle. If you guys ever seen that witchcraft sorcery, they do that pentagram. Then they draw a circle around it, and they get in that circle, and that's what she's sitting in. You guys, it's all witchcraft sorcery. People following that, it's nonsense. Why do you think that guy is showing all that stuff? Then he's giving you numbers. He's giving you numbers over and over. And he's got you like that goat going, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's what that is. It's all nonsense. Boy, I'm stressing it to you guys. I'm stressing it. Revelation 14.8. And they're following another angel saying, Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. That great city. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now, this is me. You will not hear this watching those teachers of different gospels by numbers and say, this is the gospel made easy. I removed him from my channel and I came out speaking about it. Then as soon as I did, he immediately started coming against me, telling people to go look at the mockers who have been making mocking videos against me for years. For years, they've been coming against me. And there's a reason why, you know, all their videos, it just shows them talking about me. It doesn't show me talking, just what they're saying and twisting and lying. They tried coming to Cynthia and having Cynthia turn against me. When she wouldn't, they started doing videos against her too. You know? Anyhow, I removed him. And those who were following his channel that came over to this channel... I removed a lot of those people because they were bringing other books, other doctrines. I didn't want it. They try to worm their way in. Okay? Where does it say? Hell, it's going to be where the worm doesn't die. I may have to do a second video to complete this, you guys, okay? Revelation 17, 17. For God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will. And to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the word of God should be fulfilled. Okay. Now here's Adam Clark on Revelation 17, 17. For God has put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. To agree and give their kingdoms unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. So this is why I'm saying, you guys, you need to be paying attention to the word of God. You're not going to understand what's going on if you're not. Everything you need is in the Word of God. All right, let no no one imagine that these ten Latin kingdoms, because they support an idolatrous worship, have been raised up merely by the power of man or the chances of war. No kingdom or state can exist without the will of God. Therefore, let the inhabitants of the world tremble when they see a wicked monarch rise to power and let them consider that it is raised up by the Lord to execute vengeance upon the idolatries and what you're seeing in today's times. This is why it's raised up by the Lord. Okay? <clears throat> That's why it says in Revelation 17, 17, God's doing this, okay? Acknowledge God in all your ways, you guys. These numbers are just to distract you. I pray to God, you guys, you're not being led away with that. The scripture says led away by the error of the wicked. Evil's going to destroy the wicked. These people are already dead. Neither will they repent. They're going to continue doing what they do until they're cast into hell. And you don't want to be with them, you know? All right. Therefore, let the inhabitants of the world tremble when they see these wicked people rise up. And let them consider that it was raised up by the Lord to execute vengeance upon the idolatry and proficiencies of the times. It is said of the kings in communion with the church of Rome that God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will. How is this uh, divine will be accomplished? In the most awful and, aff and afflicted manner, 
in causing ten kings to unite their dominions into one mighty empire for the defense of the Latin church. Here is a dreadful dispensation of Jehovah, but it is such as the nations have mostly righteously deserved, because when they had the truth, they lived not according to it, most holy uh, requestions, but loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Therefore, as the Lord sent to them strong delusions, that they might believe a lie, that they might all be damned who believed not the truth, but they had pleasure in unrighteousness. This is deplorable state of the world is not perpetual. It can only continue till every word of God is fulfilled upon his enemies. And when this time arrives, which will be that of Christ's second advent. And then the Son of God slays the wicked with the spirit of his mouth and shall consume them with the brightness of his coming. Now here's uh, F.B. Myers, okay? The scarlet-attired woman is that miserable attempt made in every age to counterfeit the true church of the living God. Man does not like the religion of the cross, of faith, of self-denial. One each age has witnessed some false system from which all these objectionable elements are eliminated. Surely a uh, metrious system has revealed itself successfully in Babylon, Jerusalem, Rome, London, New York, and other great centers. Fashion smiles on it. Wealth uh, bedezens it. Human powers unite with it. And in every age it has been drunken with the blood of martyrs. Between this miserable travesty of the church and the church herself, there has been perpetual conflict. But the ultimate victory has always remained with the Lamb. And if only we side with him as the called, chosen, and faithful of Revelation 17, 14, which I'll be reading that, and 16. We also shall be more than conquerors. Human prestige and power shall not ultimately avail in the conflict against the all-conquering Savior. And finally, the very world powers shall turn against the apostate, and the adulterous church. That's why the church is going to, the judgment begins with the church. And it's God that's bringing it against it. Yeah, so when you see this coming on the church, understand it. Don't be watching this nonsense. These people trying to teach you the gospel made easy by numbers. You know, those people are deceivers. They're of the devil. They won't repent. They're going to keep doing it. All they'll do is try to come against me when I'm trying to get you into the Word of God. We also shall be more than conquerors. Okay. In uh, Revelation uh, 17, 16, this is what it says. Come out from her. Be separate. Revelation 17, 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords, King of kings, and they that are with him are called, chosen, and faithful. 17.16 And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate. Oh, desolate. Okay, and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. You guys, I've seen it. America's going to be nuked. All the big cities. It's going to be horrific, man. I'm not afraid at one bit at all, man. I'm going to be kicking back here. Resting in the Lord. I've had several dreams, you know, showing me resting in my bed. Just resting in my bed. And i seen also where I woke up in the kingdom of heaven in my bed. That's resting in the Lord. You've been quickened in with Christ. Now, these people want to lead you away by the gospel made easy by numbers. 
you know, or whatever they're doing. Guys, you better listen to the Holy Spirit. If he's abiding in you, you better listen to it and stay away from it. If it's not the gospel that the apostles preached and taught, you better get away from it. All right, this is me. You know, Revelation 17, 17. God put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree, give their kingdoms unto the beast <clears throat> until the words of God are fulfilled. So this is what you need to be watching. We know Obama, who he is. We know who the Pope is. We know they're all, even this government, all governments. This is God doing what he's doing with them. So do I need to listen to somebody saying, here, this is the gospel made easy, reading, watching these numbers? No. Stay away from it. You need to know the word of God, and you'll have understanding. You do not need someone teaching you false doctrines, then telling you it's the gospel made easy. They spend hours, and he's even said it. I spend hours studying this, you guys. It's a lot of work. Support my channel. You know, if you feel led to send me some money, support my channel for him. Not money that he's going to send to help other people, but for him while he's giving you his doctrine. Then they ask you to support their channel. Scripture says, now, if you're supporting those channels... You're taking part in their evil deeds. You're actually helping that person do what he's doing. Now, last night, you guys, I had a dream, okay? I don't always understand it, but I think it has something to do with the war and stuff that's coming out, okay? Seeing the end effects of war, and that's what it was. I seen the effects of it. And there was like in a hospital where people were waking up, and they had one arm, and they lifted up their sheet, and they seen... Two legs were missing and an arm. All their body parts were gone. Then I seen a window sta a woman standing at the window dressed like in a man's clothing, like Daniel Boone is what she looked like. She was dressed up like a man, like in the time of, uh, you know, hundreds of years ago. But she lifted up a rifle like she was going to shoot and she just dropped it like she was exhausted. Okay. And then I woke up from it. So you guys, uh, these people, man's ways, they're all done. All of them. They're not resting in their beds. They're not resting in the Lord. Okay? So that's what I've seen, you guys. And, you know, there's a lot of videos out there. A lot of deceptions, you guys. People telling people to get ready for what's coming. It's really coming. Uh, start put away gold. It'll always be worth something. Well, they're not reading their Bibles because they said then when that time comes, people will don't, if they could trade you uh, uh, a pound of gold for a can of beanie weenies because food is going to be worth more than gold or silver. What does it say about it, that metal? It says it won't fill your bowels. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff like that out there too, you guys. A lot of nonsense. Okay, it's flooded the airway it's almost it's like i'm i don't even like to look at it no more because I, there's, it's just all a lot of nonsense on there and uh i seen some that sound and look good and then all of a sudden they're trying to sell you books you know sending money to their ministry or they say we're gonna keep marrying eating drinking and building churches and we're gonna keep doing what world what the world does you know, we, we ain't going to be afraid of what's coming on this place. We're going to keep building churches and we're going to keep writing books and we're going to keep. I'm like, whoa, <clears throat> this is the time you guys to come out of it. The judgment of God comes on the churches, man. It's in scripture and, and it's going to be men coming against them because it's an apostate church. Now, writing books. Sermons of men, not the doctrines of God. Okay? It's real, you guys. Acts um, 5, 41. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Okay? 52. And daily in the temple and in every house, they seize not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. 
Okay? This is not what's happening today, you guys. I hope and pray that you guys are, you see it. Okay? I really do. Alright, these following verses refer to false teaching and doctrines of devils. Revelations 18.4 And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and you receive not her plagues. Okay, now I got this off of something I clicked on uh, when it said about not partaking with uh, the deeds of, you know, don't be supporting those people, because if you do, it's it's partaking in the deeds of evil. Okay, and it gave me different links to it, so that's what I did. I did that, and this is what it came up with. For her sins have reached into heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. 1 Timothy 5.22 Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partakers of other men's sins. Keep yourself pure. <clears throat> Who is it that makes it to the kingdom of heaven? Those that made themselves ready. Drink no longer wine and water, and their lamps were full. Okay, you're not going to get it. Your lamps won't be full. Full of the darkness of men and their teachings. It's not going to be full. Drink no longer wine, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thy often infirmities. Some men's are open beforehand, going before to judgment, and some men they follow after. Likewise also the good works of some are manifest beforehand, and they that are otherwise cannot be hid. Ephesians 5.11 and, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. That's the word of God. For whatsoever does make manifest is light. You guys, the tree, you know, the mustard seed, it's the word of God. Yeah, it, it grows in you. You're not going to grow from listening to the word of man and, the, and what they call the gospel made easy. You're being deceived if you're watching that stuff. All right, Ephesians 5.14. Wherefore he says, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. You're not going to get that watching other people's doctrines. Psalms. Seeing thou, Psalms 50, 17. Seeing thou hatest instruction, and contest my words, and you casteth my words behind you. In other words, the word of God. When you just throw them behind you to watch these other doctrines of devils. All right, you guys, in another minute, around 24 minutes, I'm going to have to change it over and do another video. 50, 18 in Psalms. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and has been partakers with idolaters. That's other words, when you're watching these other videos that say the gospel made easy, you're consenting with idolaters. If you're sending them money, if you're supporting their channels in any way, okay, they're not preaching and teaching the written word of God. All right? Psalms fifty nineteen. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue framest deceit. You guys, that's what I'm trying to tell you. What they're preaching and teaching is deceit. All right, I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to start another one, and uh, hopefully get this finished up. God bless you guys. Be strong in our Lord, and don't be led away with the air of the wicked, man. These are not the times to be doing. We never should we have been doing it. Okay, God bless you. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, this is going to be part two, and I'm because the way I'm going to be loading them up, this will probably be the, uh, actually, it'll be the second one. Yeah, part two. God bless you in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.